All right, as you're, uh, as you're studying these, you're going to start to see how they fit together. Um, especially if you look at the graphics um, in the supplemental pack, you can see really how all the pieces fit together. Um, these notes on the third finger and the fourth finger on our root position shape actually make up the notes on, on the next shape. So, so as you see how these fit together, you want to start combining the adjacent scale shapes. Um, and so in, in a case like the, uh, the position one going up to, up to the second one, the shape one going to the uh, shape two, we can actually move up or don't be afraid to use you know your first and third finger there on the shape number three we can slide between these pretty easy between shape three and shape four You just want to look for those places where they combine and a lot of times if you learn other people's licks from like um, different songs especially blues songs you can see how they they move in and out of the they rarely will a player stay in one position but they move around a lot another way to move in and out of shapes a little more systematically is um, through a technique called symmetrical scales and in the supplemental stuff on the website um, you can read more about it there's a little more to it I'm just gonna show you the very basics and what that is is you actually just play one part of the scale and then you move up to the next octave to play that same shape so in this case let's play um, let's play with the A minor pentatonic and then instead of playing this with our third we're actually gonna slide up and make the same shape that we did up here now here we have to shift our fingers because of the tuning of the guitar. So you see how that went up, shifted, and we played the same shape. Then we get our shifting note, shade, same shape. So again, the uh, supplemental material has a little more on that, it explains a little bit more. It's beyond the scope of, of this training video, we're not going to get into it, but it's a great way to begin moving up the neck. And we're going to explore a little more symmetrical shapes when we look at the major shapes as well a little bit later. Alright, now let's go ahead and start putting the pentatonic to use.